Hey everyone, welcome to my garage. Today I am going to start working on the newest garden bed, garden bed number four. I have been planning to make this garden bed for two years now, bought the brackets two years ago, got smoked out, and then I went back to work and I haven't been well enough to make the garden bed. But with this shutdown, lockdown, pandemic, um, I've been sent home from work and I think I might finally have the energy to get it done, at least get it started. So what I have are these corner brackets from a company called Lifted Earth. Um, I'm in no way associated with them. I just like their stuff. It's pricey though. But these make it simple and clean and you just cut the board to whatever length, bolt it in, shove the spike in the ground and it's good. So I bought a set of four corner brackets. Uh, these ones are three two by sixes high. Most of them are two and you can stack. Like the other gardens I have are all made with these. And because of where I plan on putting it, I need a bracket for more in the middle. Um, I'm gonna do 12 feet long and 12 feet will bow without some sort of support in the middle. So I have two sets of these middle brackets. So I can put one every, I don't know, it's 12 divided by three, four, every four feet. So that'll be good. Um, I do plan on putting a, another one in. So I do have a, Another set of brackets. Uh, these are two, two by six high. I just have to replace the stairs in the backyard first, and that's not in the budget for this year. So these will wait for next year or the year after. We'll see. Future project. But there it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure. Actually, I know I need 12 feet and one inch because of where I'm gonna put it. I need that extra one inch to sort of fill the gap because it's going right in front of the deck. According to the instructions that come with the brackets, um, you cut the board eight inches shorter than what you need because the brackets add four inches. So I'm going to measure, mark, and cut all my 12 foot boards. I'm going to cut 7 inches off of them. And then I'm going to measure and mark my 8 foot board. Um, that one I'm going to cut into about 1 foot chunks so that it's going to be like 12 feet by 1 foot wide. Over 1 foot because you add the extra 4 inches on each side. And then brackets. We're going to mark the holes, drill the holes, and then we're going to stain the boards. I honestly don't think I'm going to get all that done now, but I'm going to see how far I get. Hopefully I can get everything cut. I did take a day off work to work on this because otherwise I just don't have enough time. I don't know how people are saying they're so bored. There's so much to do. <laughs> Anyways, time for me to get started.
Well, I reached my limit. Actually, I reached my limit the first big board I drilled. My body started screaming no. But I finished drilling all six of the long boards. I finished drilling all six of the short boards. And I've set up for the next next task. Got everything laid out. Um, that won't be happening today. I need to lay down. Desperately need to lay down. So next time we'll stain it, assemble parts of it. Can't assemble all of it till it's in the back. Got a ways to go with that too, because I haven't dug out where it needs to go yet. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.